Hey everyone! Today I have another Distress Dean card for you. I've been loving them recently, so I have quite a few cards and video ideas using them if you are interested. For this card, I'm going to start out with a piece of white, um, or the watercolor cardstock from Tim Holtz. And then I have two different Distress Deans that I'm going to be using. This is the Seedless Preserves, and then I have the lighter purple, which is the Shaded Lilac. Now I'm just putting a little bit on my craft sheet. I have just a few dots of the Seedless Preserves, which is the darker one, and then more of the Shaded Lilac. And then I spritzed it with a few sprays of water. I then placed it face down, which is the side that has more texture on it, and just am dipping it into my ink. I'm going to take this and heat, use my heat tool to dry this completely so then I can build the color. You can tell that the shaded lilac is quite a bit lighter than the seedless preserves. So I will be adding a little bit more of that into my card. And as it dries, it kind of darkens up. So I'm just going to place that down right on my craft sheet again. And then it creates a little bit of a different purple just because of the mixture of both of the shaded lilac and the seedless preserves, which is the cool thing about these distress stains. So each time I dip it in, I will just use my heat tool to dry it a little bit. You don't have to really dry it completely, but just dry it so that the colors don't keep blending. They actually build onto one another. And the other cool thing about these distress stains is that each time you do this, you're going to get a different look every time, so it's just kind of playing and experimenting with them to see what you can create. Alright, so now that I got that done, it's time to move on to completing the rest of my card. First, I'm going to take this Heidi Swap um, Gold Color Shine and just spritz or splatter some gold onto there, and then let that dry. Alright, for the stamping, I'm going to be using the this dinosaur set from Paper Smooches. And I'm going to choose that cute little dinosaur. And I have no idea what the names of dinosaurs really are, so I can't really help you out there. But I am going to stamp that on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I'm just going to heat that so the ink dries completely. And then if you want it so it doesn't warp, just heat the front and the back evenly of the cardstock. Alright, so I'm going to color that dinosaur in purple. I'm going to start with the V15 and just color in the whole body of the dinosaur. Alright, and then I'll move on to my darker color, which is the V17. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading on my dinosaur. And, I mean, I'm not a professional at this, so um, I just try to make it look the best that I can. And then I'm going to come in with the V15 once again and blend both of those colors together. Alright, then I'll use the V12, which is a lighter one, and color in the little uh, scallops on top of the dinosaur's back. Alright, and then I'll take the V15 again and just add a little bit of shading to each of those scallops. I'm just adding this color to the, like, the bottom part close to the body. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the V17 right below that so that it goes, it's like the ombre effect and it's just the shading on it. And then I'm going to blend all of that together with the V12 again. Alright, and then I'm going to do this cool little effect that you can use with the Zero, which is the colorless blender. And I'm just creating the, putting these little dots all along the back, and it just kind of creates this cool little look to it. 
And I'm actually going to go back and go over each of those dots once again just to really uh, make them pop forward. You can see how it comes out. The colorless blender, it's not really like a blender. It's more of a color pusher. So like if you make a mistake in color outside the lines, you can use that to push it back in. Alright, so then I'm going to fussy cut out my dinosaur quick. Alright, so I left the white border around the edge of that. Next, I'm going to be using the Glitz Wild and Free 6x6 paper pad along with this Paper Smooches die. And I'm going to cut um, this die out twice because I'm going to use one for the outside edge and then one for the center. So I chose this big chevron black and white striped and then this gray watercolor looking paper. And I'm just going to run that through my cuddle bug. I'm going to do them both at the same time just because you can cut more than um, one sheet at a time through your cuddle bug. Alright, and then those will just pop right on out of there. Alright, so I decided to use the black and white stripe for the frame and then the watercolor part for the center. So now it's time to just assemble our card. So I'm going to take my watercolor page and then um, adhere that to a white A2 size card base. Alright, and then I will adhere my frame down along with the gray center piece right in the middle of my card. And then before I put my dinosaur on there, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And this says, you are awesome. It's from the same set that the dinosaur is from. And I'm just going to attach my dinosaur with the 3D foam squares. These are from Best Creation, and all the supplies will be linked down below, so you can check those out at Simon Says Stamp. Alright, and then my last touch is to add a few of the sequins, which actually got cut off, so you can see how they are on there. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And then check out these other three videos that um, you might like. So I will see you next time. Bye!